There are some things that are better off left in darkness. These types of conspiracies are hidden by secret societies for a reason. If they were ever to see the light of day, that would completely destroy everyone's minuscule and mundane perception of the world. You know what that would mean? Chaos would ensue and send our very existence as a species spiraling. That was the main reason I was hesitant to tell all of you what I saw last night. A secret behind the most punk, punk band of all time. That band is Green Day. It has been no secret to my friends, my mama, my teachers, and my girlfriend that I stand relatively hard for Green Day. It frustrates me immensely every time I hear my friends call them Green Gay. I just can't get over how punk they seem. Billy Joe Armstrong is the most anti-establishment artist on the planet. Did you all forget when he was on iHeartRadio and said, I'm not Justin Bieber, you motherfuckers. 100% pure uncut rock. Needless to say, when I heard my beloved anti-pop renegades were playing a concert in my city, I had to go witness their glory firsthand again. I was even more ecstatic than the time I saw the American Idiot musical, for which I loved very much. Even better yet, it was one of the first shows where everyone had to be vaccinated and show proof in order to attend. I am so proud of the punk community right now. I arrived at the venue two hours early. I also printed out my entire medical history for their viewing pleasure in order to demonstrate my loyalty to the man I wish was my dad, Billy Joel Armstrong. Once I was in, I was ready to have the time of my life. They played for a whole two hours straight. I didn't even think it was possible to have more fun than I was having. After consuming a couple of beers, I did have to use the bathroom. Of course, it had to happen to me during the empowering 21 guns. On my way to the bathroom, I bumped into a man in a purple ski mask and red dress suit. Watch where you're walking, dumbass! I yelled. Why the hell are you dressed like that anyway? Shh! So they don't know where I am. I could tell that the man was quite serious by his tone. But I was not sure why. Who's they? I queried. The Swamplands, he whispered. Now I could see his legs were shaking. Swamplands? What the hell are Swamplands? After I asked him the reasonable question, he simply stared at me with frightened eyes. I've said too much. You never saw me. As he was leaving, he started to sing. I walk a swampland road, the only road the swampland seemed to know. Good old Billy Joe sold his soul and now he sucks swampland showed. Ah, 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 ah. The Swamplin' Road, the Swamplin' Showed. After that last note, he disappeared into the women's bathroom. After my excretion of fluids, I returned to the auditorium where punk rock's saviors were still rocking out. Billy Joe stopped singing American Idiot to discuss important issues, of course. Have you taken the time to go to the concession stand and purchase a punk rock Coca-Cola? He yelled. The experts say there's a 99.9% .9 chance it kills COVID-19 due to all the toxic chemicals they dump in it. So go and bloody fucking get one! And a bag of Twizzlers! Trey Cool added. Shut up! 
Billy demanded while throwing his guitar at the drummer, hitting him in the head. After the show, I was tired and feeling sick due to all the coke and Twizzlers I had feasted upon. Still, I couldn't help but find myself wanting the party to continue. I figured meeting Green Day would be the perfect way to end my night. I put on a blonde wig and red dress in order to sneak past the guard that was blocking the entrance to the backstage. Once I was back there, I searched for their dressing room for about 20 minutes. Anytime I saw a guard heading my way, I'd throw on a red dress and leopard-spotted thong in order to trick them. They didn't even seem to notice my bulge. After all the guards were gone, I could finally see the dressing room in my sight. I was going to meet the man that created punk music. The door was open, so I could hear people talking. One of the voices definitely belonged to Billy, but the other ones didn't sound like the rest of the band. In fact, they didn't even sound human. I grew more curious with each step. Finally, I looked inside the slightly ajar door. What I saw next, I still cannot believe I actually witnessed. I saw Billy, but he was talking to some strange monster. The creature was a greenish-white, and he was covered in moss. Then I saw Trey Cool and Mike Durnt in the corner of the room, being sodomized by two more of the monsters. Shockingly, they were enjoying their monstrous penetration session. That's when I kicked the door open and screamed, Nobody move! What the fuck is going on? The creature talking to Billy jumped back with surprise. We've been spotted! We must flee by night! Haven't you ever heard of knocking? Billy Joe asked. It's proper etiquette. I was almost in tears at the sight of what I was witnessing. I looked up to you, Billy. I don't understand why you were talking to... I'm sorry. What are you, wretched little things? We are swamplins! The creature hissed. You may be wondering what a swamplin is. In your world, we would be referred to as goblins. We come from a different dimension known as Swamplandia. And if you're wondering why it's called that, it's, it's because it's a swamp. Yeah! A shitty, stinky swamp, Billy Joel said while laughing. Billy, shut up! The swampland kicked him in the nuts. Oi! My heart grenades! Billy Joe cried for five minutes. In the meantime, the swamp goblin told me of more of this hidden history. Many eons ago... We were summoned by a secret order located in Mesopotamia. We were the ones who gave the mighty King Nimrod the resources to construct the Tower of Babel. <laughs> Why do you think these little twats have an album called Nimrod? Another Swamplin said while shoving his chode into Mike Durnt's mouth. The head Swamplin was angered by this interruption. I'm telling the story! After his outburst, the Swampland gained his composure. We've been working on this for thousands of years, and we're finally close to accomplishing our plan. A Swampland world order. A world where the rule of Swamp, not the rule of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we're successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this Swampland World Order. An order in which a credible Swampland United Swampland Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. But why would Green Day help you? They're punk rock! I shouted at the Swampland fiends, and all the Swamplands started to howl with laughter. Oh yeah, they're really punk. Hey Billy, tell them how punk you are in that affected British accent of yours. 
Billy Joe started to sing. That sounded really good, Billy! Trey Cole said with the Swampland Cho to still up his bunghole. The Swamplands started cackling once again. You see, Green Day are about as anti-establishment as the CIA or Big Pharma. They're part of the establishment, spewing our establishment talking points for little cum stains like you to regurgitate. You think hair gel and F-bombs change that? They do the ruling Swampland elite's dirty work until the day we don't feed them. And thankfully, that will be very soon. I started to bawl. Like a baby. Fuck you, Swamplands, and fuck you, Billy! I take back everything I said about you! The American Idiot musical is not punk and actually kinda gay! At that point, I went screaming from the room. After him! The head Swampland commanded. Billy Joe, stop singing! Mike, stop sucking his child green day! You suck! After him! After him! I could hear Billy Joe chasing after me. Come back here, you bloody fucking poots! I'm not Justin Bieber, you motherfucker! Thank God, they never found me. I put my dress back on, so I managed to escape undetected. I can only imagine they're still looking for me. Green Day have even put out two new songs called Don't Wanna Be a Swampland Denying Idiot and Find the Swampland Denier. I tell you this story so that you are prepared for what's coming. Unfortunately for me, I, I feel like it's already too late. It's only a matter of time until they find me. <laughs>